everybody. Welcome to Emma and Auntie's adventure. Here we go. <laughs> One, two, three, four, let's explore. Hermione, bodies, and so much more. Five, six, seven, eight, open the gate. He's in our minds, I cannot wait. One, two, three, four, let's explore. Hermione, bodies, and so much more. Five, six, seven, eight, open the gate. <sighs> you a little sleepy, Emma? <sighs> what makes you say that, Auntie? Uh, your big lion yawn gave you away. <laughs> right. Yeah, well, I just don't like to sleep, Auntie. I have way too much fun playing. And if I sleep, I'm going to miss out on something exciting. So I try to stay up as late as I can. Emma, as much fun as it may seem to stay up late and keep playing, it's actually not good for us if we don't get long enough sleep, especially when we're growing. But Auntie, it's such a waste of time. I mean, it's not like our body is doing anything important when we sleep, right, Auntie? Wrong, Emma. Actually, our body is doing so much when we sleep. In fact, it's doing so much that without sleep, we wouldn't be able to survive. It's that important. Really, Auntie? Ugh, but sleep is just so boring. To you, maybe, but to our body, there is an adventure going on. And if you don't get enough sleep, your body misses out on this great adventure. An adventure, Auntie? Ooh, tell me more! Well, as we are sleeping away, our body is running full speed ahead. We are breathing in oxygen through our lungs that our heart is pumping all around our body through the circulatory system. It is also during sleep that our immune system works hard to fight off infections if bacteria or viruses are lurking around. It is also while sleeping that your brain is working overtime. It's like this big computer sorting through the past day's events. The brain can take things that you learned in school and help you remember them like math or spelling. And it will take the fun things that you did during the day and store them into memories so that you won't forget them. Wow, Auntie, really? Yes, so if you don't get a long restful sleep, it's harder to remember the things that you learned and experienced. As children, we also grow in our sleep. While we sleep, the bones and muscles are working really hard to get longer and stronger. Wow, Auntie, well, I do need to get taller than you, so I better get my sleep then. Exactly, Emma. Okay, so let's dive a little more deeper into this world of sleep. Sleep is divided into two main categories based on our eye movement. Our eyes, Auntie? But we're sleeping! I know, but under those eyelids, your eyes are moving like crazy when we're sleeping. There is a sleep stage called rapid eye movement sleep, or REM sleep. And another stage is called non-REM sleep. Non-REM sleep has four stages, and REM sleep has only one stage. We first go through non-REM sleep, and then into REM sleep. Stages one through two of non-REM sleep are our light sleep, where we can wake up really easily. This is right when you start drifting to sleep. Next is stages three and four of non-REM sleep, and these are our deepest sleep stages, and make us feel the best this stage is when we grow and feel amazing and rested. But if we get woken up during this stage, we will feel really yucky the next day. The last stage of sleep is called REM sleep or rapid eye movement sleep. This is when your eyes are moving like crazy under your eyelids. And it's in this stage where we have our most crazy dreams and our legs and arms move around. This is also the stage where our memories and learning are happening. 
So these stages of sleep happen like a big roller coaster. They go up and down all night. You go from stage one, two, three, four of non-REM sleep, and then into REM sleep, and then it starts all over. Up and down and up and down and up and down while we're sleeping. Wow, Auntie, I can't believe this is all happening while I'm sleeping. So Auntie, how many hours of sleep do I actually need so I can make sure my body is getting stronger and smarter? Well, Emma, it all depends on how old you are. The older you are, the less sleep you need since we stop growing after a certain age. So babies need about 14 to 17 hours of sleep a day. Toddlers ages one to two need about 11 to 14 hours. Kids ages three to five, about 10 to 13 hours. Six to 13 year olds, about nine to 12 hours. And teenagers 14 and up, about eight to 10 hours. These hours can include naps, but as you can see, it's really important to get a long sleep time so we hit all our roller coaster cycles multiple times. If you think about it, Emma, if you want to have more fun throughout the day, get a lot of sleep at night so you feel rested. And so you can also learn and store all those fun memories. If you want to grow tall and strong and fight off lingering infections, you need sleep. So sleep is huge. Okay, Auntie. Well, I really do want to grow taller and stronger than you and make sure my brain can remember everything you're teaching me. So I guess I better go to bed on time tonight, right, Auntie? Great, Emma. Exactly. All right. So here's a fun song to help us remember how important it is to sleep. Are you guys ready? Time to sleep, 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 sle